Last week, we brought you a brief look at the findings of a study revealing that almost half of UAE expat employees have no saving plan in place for their retirement. The research further uncovered an overall lack of financial awareness. To tell us more, we have Claudia Maldonado, who is principal at Mercer Financial Services, the authors of 2020 UAE Security and Savings. Great to have you with us, Claudia. Thank you very much. So, what has the, the reaction been there to that, that top line of that, that story that came out late last week about savings for retirement? I think somewhat surprising, which it, it shouldn't be. Um, you know, maybe a few years ago when people were here for three to five years working, it was okay that we weren't saving because we were so transient. But our survey shows people are here seven years or more and in fact intending to stay another seven years. So I think a lot are quite alarmed at it. And more alarming is that 61% have no long-term savings. So we've seen an increase in clients wanting to talk to us about engaging discussions as to how to put plans in place that can help employees with their awareness, but more importantly, have the courage to act to make a change to their savings. Would it help then if you know more employers offered advice to, to employees? I think advice and... Uh, well, advice one must be careful, but more awareness is critical across all stakeholders. I think employers need to recognize that an employee's wellness is not just their physical and mental health, which gets a lot of attention, but also their financial wellness, because it highly impacts their physical and their mental. Um, and employees need to understand that their end of service is not sufficient for retirement. It was never intended for retirement. And yet we see in our survey 43% believe it will provide for their retirement. And I think when we were talking about earlier, it's capped, the benefit is capped at two times your basic annual salary, when really what you need is 12 times your total salary to have, it's a rule of thumb that we generally talk about, to have a, a meaningful uh, retirement nest egg. So I think there is awareness across both stakeholders. Now, DIFC, Dubai International Financial Centre, has put in place a savings plan. Um, tell us about that, because you were strategically involved as well with that. And is it successful so far? So yes, it launched on the 1st of February, the DIFC Employees Workplace Savings Scheme. Uh, Mercer have been appointed to the trustees as the investment advisor to the plan. Uh, it launched on the 1st of February. Employers are en enrolling. As I understand, almost 600 have already enrolled, and contributions will then follow through at the end of March. Uh, certainly, I think the discussions have now become very different to before, and I think employers are recognizing this is quite similar to what they have, particularly the multinationals, what they have in their other offices, and employers are starting to value their employers getting more involved and they're seeing their end of service. There's visibility, there's control now, which before they never had. Do you think that that, that model that um, we're seeing in DIFC might spread across the whole of the, the UAE? Certainly, I think so. We've seen federal government has started a roundtable. They're starting discussions around reform of the end of service. So what form or shape it will take is unknown. Um, but it's encouraging to see that they are talking about it. And in fact, on the Ministry of Finance's site, there is actually a savings awareness initiative um, aligned with the UN Sustainable Development Goals that they've launched, which is the first that we've seen of its kind. So I think it is a topic that government's also starting to look at. Okay, so Claudia, we, we understand that a lot of expats are not saving for the future. What, what's the easiest advice that you could give to them right now? Start today. I think uh, we, we lose on a big chunk if we pass or let seven years pass by without saving. So be aware of what your, your finances are, where your obligations lie, and use the rule of somewhere 50% of your money for necessities. Tax yourself at a similar rate to what you were in your home country. That's your savings. And what's left over is your spending. All right. I appreciate you coming in uh, tonight. Uh, Claudia Maldonado, thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you.